In order to do molarity, remember you need the molecular weight. So we're going back and we're remembering this from chemistry. You have to have the molecular weight of whatever you're trying to find the molarity of. So that will be given. Obviously, we're not going to expect you to know the molecular weight of things. So we'll give you the molecular weight in the, in the equation. Um, so a question could be, what's the molarity of 100 grams sucrose? 100 grams of sucrose. It has a molecular weight of 342.3 grams per moles, dissolved in water to a final volume of 500 milliliters. So remember, you have to do your conversions. So we have 500 milliliters is our, is our um, final volume. So we have to convert that to liters. We also are converting our grams to moles. Right? And then dividing our moles by liters. So you have 100 grams of sucrose, and it's 400, uh, 342 grams per mole. So you, ha that's, you, you need the molecular weight in order to convert from grams to molarity. So that's going to be your first step. So first you know that you have grams. You have to convert that to moles. How do you do that? You have to convert it using the molecular weight. Then you're going to have how many moles there is. Then your final volume is 500 milliliters. You have to convert that to liters, and that's how you're going to get the molarity. Moles of solute by liters of solution. So this is the molarity. So remember, molarity is concentration, concentration of the solute. So basically what you're finding out is in this solution, in sugar water, what's the concentration of sugar? It's 0.58 moles. That's the concentration. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Are we remembering molarity? Yeah, this is in organic chemistry, right? Yeah, in general chemistry, general, yeah. Yeah. biochemistry. Like you talk about molarity different times. But the, the thing to remember is if we're asking percentage, we're asking what's the weight? What's, I mean, what's, we're dealing with weight. If we're looking at what's the percentage of, if we want to know what the percentage weight of, of uh, sucrose was in this, then you're dealing with grams, you're going to do that percentage. You're going to do this one. We're just finding out like what percentage of the solution is sucrose, mm -hmm. then you're going to do this. If we ask you what percentage, we're just figuring out what percentage is it. So 40% we figured out. If we're asking you what percentage of the, of the solute, then you're going to do this one. Molarity is asking what's the actual concentration of the sugar in the water. So the handout that we got, the one that is... Um, has the problems in it and stuff, mm -hmm. they shorten that second step, but when we do it, you want it more like... I would like to see it like the, the longhand way, okay. because, because like on your exams, you'll see if I see it longhand, there's parts where I still gave points because I can see where you did the error. Mm -hmm. So just get in the habit of doing Right, it. because it helps me figure out where, if you just write the answer in the shorthand, then I can't figure out where you went wrong. 